Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So, toluene is an extremely useful uh, solvent in many different applications, and this lacquer thinner, which I bought at Home Depot, contains actually a fair amount of toluene. I looked up the MSDS online, and it's between 40-something and 80-something percent toluene, and um, the rest of it is actually methylthoketone and methanol. And the methanol content varies between 15% uh, up to about 40%. So I'm not totally sure how much is in this product, as it doesn't say directly here, but according to the MSDS, that's what it says. And uh, toluene is listed as the uh, first ingredient on the back. It says contains toluene. And normally the first ingredient is n normally like the, the most of the product, like has the highest content. Now, toluene boils at 110 degrees Celsius. Methyl ethyl ketone and methanol both boil lower than that. Um, so there should be pretty easy to separate the two. Uh, and a simple fractional distillation, or even perhaps a simple distillation, should be more than sufficient to do so. So what we'll need to do is grab my uh, simple distillation apparatus, head outside, set it up, and we'll start distilling this stuff over. So uh, I'll meet you outside and we'll get that heating up. So I've come outside now and here's our apparatus. Basically over here I have a uh, one liter round bottom flask, which was where we'll put our um, toluene uh, lacquer thinner in, and above it is a glazing adapter so we can add more of the lacquer thinner easily without dismantling our whole apparatus. Because I would like to get through all of this, um, almost an entire liter of lacquer thinner today. And of course you can't fill your one liter round bottom flask all the way to the top because it's only supposed to be filled about halfway. Um, or else you could get um, some of your products splashing over and other horrible things happening. So um, basically yeah. Above that we have the thermometer, condenser column. And I just have a small 250 milliliter round bottom flask to begin. Um, and that's going to be our first collection of all of our methanol, which will come over first, at about 65 degrees Celsius. And then after that, our methyl ethyl ketone will come over at 80 degrees Celsius. And after that, finally, we'll begin to get our toluene. And I'll switch that out for about a 500 milliliter round bottom flask after. And that's where we'll collect all our toluene, which comes over to 110 degrees Celsius. Anyhow, so we can now go ahead, open up our Claisen adapter over here, put a funnel in, and add in about half of our bottle of lacquer thinner. So I'll do that and turn on the heating and meet you back as soon as things start to uh, condense. So the flask is now halfway full, but something weird happened. When I was adding it in, I guess I was adding it too fast, and it shot all the way up my apparatus somehow, it shot across, and now I have stuff in my receiving flask without even turning on the heat. Don't know how it went up and over, not sure how, but um, anyhow, we'll just empty that out and it shouldn't be a problem because any of the other stuff in the condenser will be washed down as um, all of our methyl ethyl ketone and methanol first comes over. And uh, then when we go to switch out for toluene, it should be nice and clean. So I'll just dump that back in and then we'll start a distillation. Okay, so the first fraction which came over was our methanol, and it's all right here. And um, we collected all of that, then swapped it out, and now we're collecting our methyl ethyl ketone, but our temperature, even after this small amount, has already started to rise to 100 degrees Celsius, which means we're working our way over to toluene. So, we can transfer this to a separate jar for methyl ethyl ketone, and continue to collect all our toluene. And I'm going to just quickly switch out um, this 250 milliliter round bottom flask for a 500 milliliter one, and collect the rest of our toluene. Okay, so we collected a lot of fractions, but here's what we're left with. So I had about 400 milliliters of toluene, a bit of methyl ethyl ketone, which um, this was a specific fraction, I collected it. And these other two jars are actually contaminated because I wasn't monitoring it super carefully. And um, some of the methyl ethyl ketone came over into here, and there was probably a bit of toluene. I'm not actually sure, I didn't look up if anything forms an easier group with one another, but should be pure enough for most applications, but um, and yes, there's a bit of contamination here. And well, um, this batch here that came over, this is um, the part when I did the rest of the paint thinner in that can. And here I actually never even collected the methyl ethyl ketone. All the methanol and all the methyl ethyl ketone came over and some of the toluene before I had realized that we were actually collecting toluene. Um, so then I just put all the toluene into there, but this is quite contaminated. So what I'd like to do is take um, these two, throw them back into my distillation apparatus, and uh, put them through again, but this time with a fractionating column, and then I should be able to separate out the methanol from the methyl ethyl ketone and be left with some residual toluene if there is any. But um, anyhow, that's basically how to remove toluene and I guess methanol from 
that nice uh, paint stripper or whatever we had. Um, so yeah, anyhow, um, we're going to be using toluene as a solvent in s several future applications. And what I'd like to do is actually grow some sulfur crystals with it because that would be very cool. And I actually already did this so you can actually just take a look over here in this jar. See, you could get beautiful sulfur crystals. Sulfur is not soluble in very many things, but one of the few things it is soluble in is toluene. It's also solu soluble in xylene, um, but it, I didn't want to get any xylene. I prefer toluene. Um, you can buy xylene at places like uh, Home Depot, though. Anyhow, so, hope you guys enjoyed. Oh, wait, bye.